the new Wimbledon champion is also the new world number one. That's the icing on the cake for Novak Djokovic, a man with an insatiable appetite for winning. Hey Novak, how are you doing? Congratulations. Yeah, you. In the last six months, he's developed a taste for cakes, trophies and even grass. Your celebrations were unusual. What does centre court grass taste like? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I didn't know what to do from, from the uh, emotions that I had at that moment. You know, it was uh, it was incredible feeling. And uh, so the tasting of the grass came spontaneously. <laughs> it tasted really good. So how did it feel when you woke up this morning? Did it feel different? It felt much different than <laughs> any other morning uh, because I, 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 I know that I didn't have to uh, pack my stuff for any practice or any match. You know, I, I, I won Wimbledon, the most important tournament uh, uh, in, in our sport, and I'm so delighted. You've achieved your ambition and your dream within a couple of days, haven't you? Would you have scripted it like that? Did you ever think it would happen like that? Uh, to be honest, I didn't expect it to, 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 uh, to happen this way and this, this soon. You know, on the start of 2011, if somebody told me that already after Wimbledon I would be number one and and, uh, and a two Grand Slam champion, uh, you know, it's in this year, it's incredible. I mean, I, I uh, but I always believed that I can that I can play well, that I can win majors, and now it's all coming together. You know, I, I feel much better on the court. I know what to do, and uh, and I take my chances when they're presented. Djokovic has utterly dominated professional tennis this season. After helping Serbia to the Davis Cup title, he's won a total of eight trophies, losing only once in 49 matches. He's beaten Roger Federer three times, and on no less than five occasions, he's got the better of Rafael Nadal in a tournament final. You have been living in an era of arguably the greatest two tennis players ever. Do you agree with that? And where do you now fit into the equation? Yeah, they're, they're definitely you know, maybe two out of five the best players ever to play the game and uh, but they have made me improve they have made me a better player so uh, I think I give my improvement uh, uh, credit to them for my improvement as well you know because uh, I've played so many matches against Federer and Nadal especially at the, at the big tournaments and the big matches you know big stage and um, I was losing most of those big matches, uh, but uh, now it has turned around and I, because I started believing that I can win. How are you going to celebrate in Serbia? Just, I, I don't have anything planned, so just uh, the way the energy carries me, I guess. <laughs> you don't just get a cake for becoming the world number one, you also get an awful lot of media attention. Novak Djokovic has just played arguably the best six months of tennis that anybody ever has, and this kind of attention is only going to increase in the weeks and months ahead. Don Riddell, CNN, Wimbledon.